Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP list tutorial for beginners and this is part 5. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we bind our dynamic data from our WordPress database to our WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WP list table to get the clear understanding about part number 5. And also guys, our existing code I have uploaded to this GitHub link. You can download all existing code from this link. Okay, so basically if this is your first video session guys, then I strongly suggest you to watch our previous video sessions from this playlist. Okay, to get the clear vision about WP list table. So basically what we have made so far, this is the plugin by the help of this plugin, actually we have generated or made our WP list table. But basically this is not a dynamic data. These datas are static. Okay, so if we back to editor, this is the file that we have attached with WP list table. Okay, and now inside WP list table data, this is the function that we have modified in our previous video session. Okay, where we have actually filtered data by order by. So this is the static data right now we are rendering. Okay, so we want to change these data instead of a static, we want to make it dynamic. Means we are going to make some SQL queries to WordPress database to get the dynamic data from that. So suppose we want to show all the posts, all the posts that we create to our WordPress setup to our WP list table. Okay. So if we click on post section, this is the post section where we have created some summary dummy post. Okay. So we want that these posts should be listed to our WP list table. Okay. So how can we render this dynamic data from our database table called WP post inside WP list table? Okay, so we have to make some simple queries to actually get the records of WP posts. So just back to editor and now we are going to drive all the WP post table. Okay, all the post of post type post from our WP table. Okay, so just go to your WP list table data. This is the function actually given for the data section. Okay, so if I just I want to remove all these things which we have written. Okay, so just get rid of all these things. And now inside this data, we have to actually return the WP post data. Okay. So we have a WordPress function called get post. Basically, this is the function guys in which we have to pass some data. Okay. Something called we want all the posts. Actually, the post type should be say post. Okay. So let me pass that. And also let's say that post status should be at publish situation. Okay. Should be publish status. So let's say publish. So basically guys get post by the help of WordPress function get post we have passed two parameters means if you go to administrator panel this is our database now if I click on WP post table click on a structure section and now inside this structure section guys we have two columns called post type here it is and we have passed the default post type called post okay and also we have passed post status in which we have passed the status should be publish. So let's store all the posts inside a variable. So let's see that all posts. Okay. So basically the data should be returned something column called ID name email. Okay. So we have to change the column names accordingly with our post data. Okay. So let me check that print R. Let's see that all posts. Okay. So if you make die here, so just save this file, go to browser, reload this page. So these are the data that actually we are retrieving. If we inspect that, just click on WP body content. If I scroll down, so these all are WP post object in which we have actually retrieved all get all the posts from our WP post table. Okay, so we have to retrieve all the information step by step. So just back to editor. So let's fetch some of the information like post author post title, post content, post status. So these are the columns we want to drive. Okay. So just get rid of that. Let's say that if count all post is greater than zero means we have some data. So let's say that for each all post as index and let's say post. Okay. So let's make an array. So let's say that posts array. Okay. Basically it should be empty at initial state okay so after finding or actually putting some values inside this array finally we have to return that this array here okay so let's say that post array inside this array we have to store some of the values actually we will retrieve from this for each loop 
okay so first we want something called title or let's say id okay so let's say that stx it's not should be stx is post okay and basically this is the id section of our individual post okay so let's say id if you want to get the title of the post so basically post title is the column so let's say that post and basically it is an object so we actually use arrow operator and this is the column name called post title okay so let's pass that post title for the post content so let's say content basically we have a key something called post content okay and finally let's add a slug section for that okay so let's say slug post and this is should be post name okay so successfully guys we have stored all the informations by getting individual arrays of post inside this post array okay and finally we have returned that so according to these columns guys we have to update our WP list table column names okay so just go down and let's say ID instead this is title so let's say title this is not this is content section so let's say content and finally this is slug section okay so let's say that post slug just go down to our column defaults method here we have to change also so let's say title here should be something called content and finally this is for the slug section okay so we have to return the that column accordingly okay so if we save that go here just open up a new tab duplicate and reload this page once we reload as we can see that these all contents actually we have created these these are the post that we have created right here okay so let's add some new post so let's say sample post 6 okay so let's put some of the dummy content so this is test content adding here okay just going to publish go to WP list table and reload this page so this is sample post 6 we have created this is the ID and this is the content that we have passed and this is slug okay so basically guys we have successfully linked the dynamic data from our WP post table to our WP list table okay so we want to make some of the sortable columns like title or post slug okay so just back to editor so we want to make it as a sortable column so just go inside get sortable columns let's say that title section should be in sortable columns list okay so if we save that reload this page and now as we can see that this section is now sortable section so order by title and order is descending order okay so by reading these query string parameters we are going to update the query to retrieve all the data okay by clicking on that we are actually going to retrieve all the details of post in order of title in descending order okay so just back to editor go to prepare evidence method and now here we have passed order by and order inside this method okay so just go to that method so after getting these parameters means order by order we have to update this query because we are going to actually show all these data in descending order okay so let me check that first if order by something called title if order by equal to title and let's say that order should be descending order so let's say that order equal to descending order so in this condition we want to actually update our query else we have to put same the data okay so all post one goes here so let's add some of the SQL queries inside this block okay so because this is the block for ascending order okay so first of all we have to declare a global parameter for WPDB object this is the database instance okay so by the help of this instance we are going to update or write our query okay so let's say that WPDB let's say get results inside this let's say that select asterisk from WPDB post this will return the WP post name means it will return something like that okay so WP post order by let's say that post title descending order okay so let's add that and also we have to update the order by with the descending okay so this should be descending also 
okay so by getting order by equal to title and in descending order this is the query that we have to execute means select asterisk from WP posts order by post title descending order okay so if we save that let me make some formatting so just copy this variable name and store all the results inside this okay so if we save that go to browser reload this page so as we can see that guys these columns now sorted okay so let's add some of the next post by adding with called a okay so let's see that awesome post okay so this is awesome post that we have created okay so if you publish that go to WP list table reload this page so now this is in descending order okay so we actually get our details as you can see that awesome post is right here okay but here as we can see that two types of post is appearing because we have not filtered about the post type okay so we have to add something like here let's say where post type something called post okay and also post status should be something publish state okay so these are the things that we have to add with where query so just reload this page so as we can see that this is the awesome post again clicking on that this is in ascending order okay so this is how guys we have controlled all the things by WP post table so successfully guys we have actually bind our dynamic data with our WP list table okay so basic things that you have to remember that prepare items is one of the most important method of WP list table which executes first this actually bind all datas all column headers everything actually it will bind okay so this is the method we have defined in our previous video session to get the table data okay and basically inside this method by the help of WPDB global instance we have made our custom query else we have made the use of WordPress function called get post to actually get all the posts from WP post table okay so by the help of these simple queries guys actually we have iterated over dynamic data and put into our WP list table okay so in our next video session guys we will see that how can we implement the searching condition for this table so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day